Hello everyone and welcome back to my little slice of the internet, aka Jenna Spiel, only not really Jenna Spiel because today, instead of talking comics, I'm gonna do something I'm actually a little bit more comfortable talking about, and that's special effects makeup. So for those of you that don't know, I actually started on YouTube doing makeup, you know, before that whole beauty guru was a, a thing, and I know, looking at my face now, you would probably find it hard to believe that I know anything about makeup, but I'm self-taught, so I mean that's pretty much debatable anyways. So without further ado, I figured for the month of October, because it's Halloween, I would take it back to my roots. That's right, we're gonna do Pablo in this weird, evil dead Necronomicon face mask. Well, that's enough rambling. Let's slap some liquid latex, some school glue, and possibly some toilet paper on my face, and hope that my makeup skills have somehow improved miraculously over the last five years without actually doing anything with them. That's wishful thinking. Disgusted. I don't know how old these brushes are. We're not starting off great. I mean, the first brush I pick up is covered in gray. Gray from what? I don't know. And, and my cleaning is just me and this tissue. Pray for my face. So exciting, this is the first time I've done this in years. Oh God, it already feels awful. Oh man, it's a thing, it's on my face. I already wanna look at my reference picture cause I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, Pablo. Okay, so his is up to his hairline and I mean, this is as close as you're gonna get it folks because my hair's already thinning and I don't need anything else working against me here. Oh god. It also looks like it goes over his eyebrows and again, not a fan of being tweezed and plucked and waxed today. So we're gonna go around my brows. We're just gonna improvise. I mean, that's the joy of this creative shit, man. You just make it your own. In case you were wondering, yes. I am using Harry Potter brand school glue. That's right, troll bogey glue. What do you think about that? Who needs liquid latex? Professionals, that's who. Yeah, I'm done, it's perfect. Don't know if my neighbor is aware that he's left the trunk of his car wide open. Should I go over and like with this half done and be like, hey, just trying to be neighborly. Might want to check that out. Now nah, I'll just leave it. Crisis avoided. It's fine. Remember the crisis that this is going into my hair. Oh god. It was more irritating than I remember it being. Back when I was a young university student, not burdened with the ways of the world yet. Okay, so it's been about half an hour. I thought I'd give you guys an update. I'm trying to increase the brows here a little bit and Get a little bit of a peek around the nose area. I think the most important update in the last 20 minutes is the fact that my neighbor's trunk is still open. And I had some hope, oh, he was, he's coming out again now. But he was out five minutes ago playing fetch with his dog. Is he gonna notice? Oh my God, did I turn the camera on at just the right time? Yes, okay, sorry, there's a lot of suspense there, but it was, it was suspenseful for me too. He's remembered to close it. Now let's see, is he going back in? Yep, that's it. I'm, that's the highlight of what's got on the last half hour. I'm gonna start doing the jawline now, get the rest of the mask on and I will check back in with you then. That's right. Painting the jawline I've always wanted. <laughs> I 
Update number two. This is as much as I can smile now. Okay, so I've made an executive decision. You better be thankful. It's glue stick time for my brows. Which in hindsight I should have done before, but I was hoping to avoid this. The more I've looked at the reference picture, the more I realize the eye holes are very small in this look. If I cover my brows, I'm hoping I can get them just a little bit smaller. They're still not gonna be as small as the actual mask, but the next best thing, right? Okay, so I'm about to make a move and start using liquid latex instead of Elmer school goo. School goo. That's about as much as I can talk right now. This, folks, write it down in your notebooks. This could be where it all goes wrong. Is it bad that I'm starting to feel a little nauseous? Too many school fume glue. Too many school glue fumes. That's what I meant to say, but I think the fumes, my friends, they are a working. Oh, that's gonna hurt like a bitch later. Oh, no, it just hurts now. Great. Hmm. This is why I'm not such a fan of the latex. Does liquid latex go bad? I think mine's gone bad, it smells weird. Okay, so now that I have no mobility left in my face, meaning the glue is dried, it's time to add the color. Can you tell I'm excited? Probably not, but I am. I'm just smiling on the inside. wondered what an actual mutant ninja turtle might look like? Or just a mutant turtle? This is it. looks drastically different from the last time I saw you. That's because I spent at least an hour trying to get the wax on here to look somewhat remotely like what I'm going for. So my intention was to have the toilet paper and all that gross stuff underneath to be showing through, which I think has pretty much been achieved. Now the next step is to powder and try to shade and bring this all together. Hopefully the next time I see you it won't be nighttime, but if it is and the camera lighting has changed entirely again, well, that's why.
Well, screwheads, before I lose any more daylight, I suppose I should bring this to a close. I was also trying to clean up the edges before this little outro and the whole structural integrity of the mask sort of fell away from me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different from Jenna's spiel, but like I said, I haven't really flexed these special effects creative muscles in four or five years, so thank you for indulging me. Jenna's spiel will be back again in the future, so hopefully you guys will be around for that. In terms of the overall mask, I don't think it's too shabby. This is probably only the second or third time I've properly used the nose and scar wax, so definitely could use another foray into the special effects makeup. If you guys enjoyed this, maybe it's something I will do again. If not, well, that's what the Jenna Bunnykins channel is for, so thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.